Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I just wanted to share with you my newest upgrade and it is the Osmo Action 3. Just got it yesterday. It's amazing how, how fast Amazon can deliver certain things. Ordered it Thursday afternoon, got it Friday afternoon, and now I'm showing it to you guys. So the reason I bought this, as you, most of you guys know, uh, how many times this has failed me in the past. Uh, the most recent is, was the audio. I don't blame GoPro for that. I blame the, the casing. This is called a, a media mod, which is on top. I'm going to take that off just to show you. So this is what your GoPro Hero 10 looks like. And the door has been removed. That's the battery in there. And this is the media mod. And the reason I bought this was when I would use this outside and it was a little bit windy, it would make that crazy wind sound uh, across the microphone and uh, it's not acceptable. So I'm like, if I get this, at least it would knock it down a little bit with that little mic filter on there. Um, so when you put these two together, uh, again, you have to take the door off the GoPro and it just snaps off and then you put it aside until you need to put it back on. So right now it's not waterproof. Obviously now we've tampered with the, with the GoPro and then you just slide it in and right at the very back, there is a audio connector. And once you force that into there, and I believe it's uh, just basically a USB-C. And once you do that, it connects. Now that should be connected when we shut the door it should be pushed right in there. I have no idea how that happened. The video I did before, all the audio was perfectly fine. Then when I did the um, Burger King video, uh, all the video, or sorry, all the audio was missing. So I, I still have no idea what could have possibly happened. Uh, I don't think I've even come across anybody who's had that same issue. Um, another thing too is once I put the media mod on you got to pull out the little tabs out at the bottom which then you connect things like this this is uh just a gopro connection and i put that on there just like that put the thumb screw whatever you want to call it into there screw it down nice and tight and so this is how i would mount this to uh, tripods or suction mounts on the windshield of my car so I'd have to like put it up to it and then screw it on and then adjust it and and then I could press the power on and record and it's been okay for the, the, the past year every once in a while it does this thing and you'll see it on other people's videos and that complain about GoPro is you'll start to record and then it won't stop so you press it, starts to record, you do whatever, you go to press stop, it doesn't. So it'll just keep recording forever. Um, sometimes if you press and hold it for 10 seconds or more, sometimes it will stop it and then, and then GoPro will actually fix that file so you don't lose the file. Or sometimes you have to press and hold the power button and you just keep holding and holding and hold it like 10 to 30 seconds and sometimes it will shut off but then when you turn it back on, it will repair uh, sometimes the file. Uh, and then there's sometimes it won't do anything. You gotta like actually take it apart, pull the battery out, put the battery back in, and you've usually lost the file. And again, as you guys know, I make a living doing this and I can't afford to redo videos, especially when it was a challenge, food challenge. I couldn't possibly eat that again. So um, after a bunch of research, looked at the Osmo Action 3, and the amazing things about this is it will do 4K at 120 frames a second. The horizon steady. So uh, when I, if this was the um, Osmo, you can actually turn the camera like this and, it, and the footage will be dead level no matter what you do with the camera. So a lot of people say when they, they mount their um, Osmo, uh, they just mount it in any direction and they don't have to worry about it because they know it's it's going to be perfectly level They don't have to like put it on the tripod and make sure it's level. They just put it on uh, also it has cold resistance uh, Long-lasting so not only does the battery last longer in cold it does 
performs better in cold uh, when I would do some of the videos in the camper van. If I left my GoPro outside the sleeping bag, it would uh, freeze and then it wouldn't work uh, next in the next morning. I'd have to like take it, put it into my sleeping bag, try to warm it up with my body uh, so that I could actually start videotaping again. And the next thing I love about this thing, it's got a quick release uh, when you put this camera near its mount, there's a uh, magnet that actually pulls it, snap, and then these two little clamps grab it and then hold it. Then I'll have to just pinch the two clamps and then move it to something else. So putting that into the windshield, once I've done my final mount on the, on the windshield, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, it's up, waterproof up to 16 meters and dual touch screens. So I'll be able to swipe and stuff uh, uh, on this when it's up against the windshield facing me. I'll be able to see myself, be able to scroll and do touch screen things on the front facing camera. Whereas this front facing camera, you can't do anything with it. It's just a monitor to show you what you're videotaping. So let's do the quick, un well, not quick, but let's do this unboxing. I'm trying to figure out where to open this. I think it's here. I'm doing this on Christmas Eve. Sorry, New Year's Eve, not Christmas Eve. New Year's Eve. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone. That's my garbage it's right there. Oh my goodness, there's nothing more fun than getting something new. And I think, hmm, there's two sides to this, it looks like. I'm always trying to figure out how to open these things. There's a sticker along the bottom here. You just gotta like catch that with a fingernail pull that little piece of tape off and then this unfolds and then opens ooh everybody ooh uh, so this was the I think uh, extended package or kind of fly more package kind of thing uh, you get the Osmo action camera then you get two more batteries so you have three batteries all together as you know I shoot a lot of video and I need extra batteries and then you have this little pouch charger Probably USB-C, yep, USB-C charger. And oh, look at that. Oh, all three batteries are in there. And then it tells you if they're charged when you press this button. So I'll have that on my charger immediately to get that going. It comes with little manual. Is that, there you go, little manual, USB-C cable. And then, uh, oh, here's the, little mounts. This is what I'm excited about too. So it comes with, obviously you got these, oh, DJI stickers. There's one mount, two mounts. I'll probably have to buy a third mount. Oh yeah, and it comes with this thing. So, oh cool. So this is a big sticker mount. If I wanted to permanently stick that to something like a helmet or vehicle or whatever, it comes with a thumb screw. A lot of people like this screw over the GoPro mount. It's, this one has, it's not as easy to grab as a bigger thing like that. So a few people said that they like that as well. And I'll probably enjoy using it like that as well too. Oh, it comes with two mounts, two thumb screw mounts. And it comes with this little case that goes around it, kind of like the media mod, but it doesn't, I think it's just for mounting purposes. Well, it comes with a rubber thing to put around the um, the lens. So again, this is just for, I think it's for mounting purposes and to protect it a little bit more. Let's peel off the stickers. Everybody loves peeling off stickers off new stuff. So we'll peel off our lens. Then we'll peel off the back. There's little arrow indicators. Oh yeah, Osmo. Sweet. It looks feels like it's a. It's definitely smaller than the GoPro with the case around it. Uh, let's take that quickly off just to see what the. I know. I think I know it's smaller by just a little bit. Maybe maybe that will be good. I don't know. Good or bad, if it's small. So here is the GoPro. 
here is just a tad bit smaller not much smaller it feels lighter too all the batteries not in it uh, I think I have to so here is the magnet mount and I think just as you get close it's gonna oh, I can feel it pulling uh, oh boom and then I have to so it gets close and then once it's on it's now clamped on and the only way to get it off is to pinch and pull so it's funny because it's because of the magnet <laughs> because of the magnet you're gonna I'm gonna have to like kind of pull it away so it's not hard to unclamp and pull but the magnets also uh, yanking on it too so that's interesting I'll have to get used to that so oh they, they stuck together okay so there's a little door on this side I bet that's probably for the card nope that's for a USB-C plug-in if you just wanted to get data off this and also charge the battery that's in it and then we have another one on this side hmm not as easy to open as the GoPro so there's the spot to put your card in right here and I have my card already I hope it goes in that way yeah so it goes in uh, data side down and you can you can totally see where the battery goes oh I'm liking the fact that uh, the battery comes with a little tab I think back in the day people really complained when GoPro had these batteries and there was no tab to pull it off so people were actually making their own piece of tape sticky thing on the side so it goes in only one way and there we go and then you slide that down that wasn't very I guess I'll get used to it you have to like see I'm like scratching the side of it by trying to open it definitely gonna take a while to get used to and the door came off really easily that's not cool hmm. there we go first time starting it up uh, I believe there's a power button on the side and I'll have to go through all the settings and set it up the way I need it to be set up we have little English this is going through um, what you should how you can do stuff by swiping and little gestures and stuff showing me how to put the battery in that's kind of late <laughs> it's definitely late anyway so I only have five times that I can use this QR code or it's gonna only show me five times anyway so that is my DJI Osmo camera and I can't wait to start using it in my videos uh, I just wanted to make this little video of showing you guys what I'm doing for my next steps in hopes that I never have like issues again uh, I probably will something bad will probably happen as it always does but uh, I'm hoping I will be error free for like the next six months to a year anyway guys thanks for your support on this channel and my big food channel I appreciate you guys hanging out uh, leave comments in the comment section below as to what camera you prefer